All right, so for this uh, next video here, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Um, you remember in the previous video, we opened a modal window with the day picker on it. So I'm gonna change things around a bit. I'm gonna uh, go back to my second windows button here. Um, rather than uh, have this uh, text that says show date picker, I'm going to have it actually display the um, date itself. So what I'm going to do is um, create a placeholder for my, um, for my date. So I'm going to create a new property called, well, it's going to be a, and a date data type. Call this uh, working date. Okay, so when I um, when I first open the screen, I want the date, the current date, to show up in that button there. So let's go to the M file. So whenever a uh, window gets loaded, uh, it always calls a view did load. Um, method here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to it. And I'm going to say um, I'm going to mix up my um, notation. I'm going to use um, dot notation here because I'm just I like it better than the um, standard uh, Objective C uh, bracket notation. Self dot um, what did I call it working working date. Uh, equals um, an NS date method date which returns the current time or current date and let's see and then uh, I want to show that date now in uh, in that button so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of formatting here first I only want to show the date I want to show the time or anything else so I'm gonna create a NS date Formatter, there it goes. Equals bracket as date formatter. I look to create it and then init the standard alloc init. Okay, so now I have the four matter. So I'm gonna use this four matter now. And I'm gonna call a set date format. And uh, I'm going to give it a format of, um, let's just say uh, MM. comma y y y so this represents the date format that I like to use to display okay and for my button I think I called it uh, what I call the button oh I called it pick date button so let's call it pick self date button um, so title okay let's do this just switching around I'm going to set the title using my uh, formatter. Formatted date. String, string from date, and it will be um, the working date. And for the for state, I will just say. Uh, by control what 
my control state normal. Close bracket, semicolon. So uh, if we were to run it now, you see that as we click to the second screen, you see that it uh, displays the um, current date um, on the button. Okay, so what we want to do is to be able to pass this date over to this screen here. So we want to show the date. We'll change the formatting here and the date picker in a bit. Um, so in order to do that, let's, uh, let's make some changes over in this uh, date picker screen. Um, what we want to do is to change the um, date picker mode. So let's stop this. And go to date picker mode. All right, so we need an outlet for um, for the date picker. So why don't we go ahead and control drag date picker into here. Let's call it um, let's call it date picker. And let's see. And also, we're going to need a property to receive the date from the previous screen. So, let's create a property. Oops. It's going to be a data type of NS date. Let's call it date received. Meaning that's the date we're going to receive from the previous window. Okay, so as we did in the other window, we're, we will make some additions to the view date load. So in here, what we want to do is to set the mode of the date picker. Right now it's showing, showing some times, uh, it's showing the word today and then uh, the time after. We just want to show the date. So change that to date picker mode. equals UI date picker mode date. And also once we receive that date, we want to set the um, set the date picker to that date. So we'll do self dot date picker. Just created that connection, that outlet and the date property we will set to date received. Okay. So uh, so if it so this window will receive a date from the previous window. So now we have the add code to send that date. So what we're going to do is go into the, this uh, previous window we call it the second window. And we go down here um, to the um, let's see. Let's prepare for segue and right now it's been uh, it's been commented out so I'm gonna uncomment it so I can use it so this is the prepare for segue method that would be called every time you uh, you um, navigate from one screen to the other. So I'm going to uh, add this code here, date picker, and uh, I failed to view controller. And uh, before I do that, I should do an import. It's, a, it's not aware of the uh, date picker view controller. So say import date picker view controller. That's fine. Okay. Date controller. 
So equals segue destination view controller. All right, so what we just did was uh, we, we got the destination view controller from the segue, which in this case would be this date picker view controller. So now we're going to pass over the um, date uh, value to it. Controller date received. This was the uh, property we just added. Equals self dot working date. All right. So this is the working date that you that was displayed on the button, and we will be passing it over to the um, destination date controller by uh, assigning it to this property. So if we run it. First screen, second screen, so the current data is displayed on this button. So once we hit this button, it will open up that modal window and pass this date over to the date picker. And as you see, the date was passed over. And uh, as you also notice that the format had changed. Previously, it said today, and then it's, uh, and it did the hours and the minutes and so forth. And we had, uh, what we had done was change the mode to UI date picker mode date. And that's why you're seeing the, um, the display of the date in this format, okay? Close. So, well, what we like to do is be able to change this day. Let's, you know, change it to, I don't know, July 31st, 2020. What we like to do is click OK and then update this date to this button in the previous window. As you can see, it didn't update it because we haven't added any code to do that yet, but that's what we like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in the next video.